Hello everyone, glad you're back. If you're not part of the channel, subscribe, share, like this video. Today, this might be the most important video that I've probably ever done that I want to talk to you guys about. First though, 1 Corinthians 15, 1, 4, resurrection, resurrection of Christ. Now, brothers and sisters, I want to remind you that the gospel I preached to you and received, and you received, and on which you have taken your stand. By the gospel you are saved. If you hold firmly to the word that I preached to you, otherwise you have believed in vain. For what I have received, I have passed on to you as first importance. That Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. That he was buried and raised on the third day according to the scriptures. Ephesians 2.8 By the grace you are saved through faith, and ye that are not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, let any man should boast. Now, some of the things I want to talk to you guys about, and trust me, I didn't want to get on here this early and do this, but I see some situations that are overwhelmingly leading to something that I think that we should discuss. Very important. So I want you guys to walk with me. Uh, if a lot of you probably have heard by now, and some of you probably haven't. There was a picture of the Pentagon that showed up that there was a huge explosion there, okay? Now... This is not true. It did not happen. But that's not why I'm going to talk about. What I'm going to talk about is how it got there and something very disturbing behind it. Now, for a long time, I've never been a person that would get on here and talk to about AI. Okay. I do believe uh, in the future that AI, it could be at any time, it's going to make its move. It's very possible. AI has, I do believe, we've let it get out of control, and it could cause a lot of problems. So, the reason I want to talk about AI is AI posted all those pictures on every social media. Not a person. An AI did this. Now, why would an AI post a picture of the Pentagon with an explosion going on? This is very disturbing. Now, what does the AI know that we don't? Or is the AI planning something of its own? This is why I thought it was very important. Let's say we already know where we are. We know the tribulation is going to start very soon. It could happen at any time once the rapture happens. I'm wondering if this thing has finally made its move. So definitely keep your eyes open for this. Like I said, do not fear. But this could be the, one of the first signs that we've had with the Antichrist making his move. And it means we're getting ready to leave. That's why I'm bringing it up to you. That's why this video is so important. It's very disturbing that a AI didn't just post it here. I mean, he posted it, it posted it everywhere. It was enough that the Pentagon had to actually go on, actually go on and do a press briefing because of this thing. I mean, this thing did it all on its own. All by itself. Nobody forced it. Nobody told it to do it. There was no direction. It did it itself. You know, we. I've always said, I wonder if we even start World War III. Maybe this thing does. Maybe this thing gets the nuclear launch codes and does its thing. If it does that, maybe it's not even us that starts it at all. These are things that I... Do, I'm, this is why I tell you that we're so close to being out of here. Another thing, you probably don't know this, and I've, I've looked into it. They're doing Isaiah 62, a worldwide fast. Okay? If you haven't read Isaiah 62, um, go ahead and open your scripture and read it. Now, Isaiah 62 is basically the talking about Israel being turned, okay? Giving themselves to Christ, to Jesus. Well, the only way that's going to happen is through the tribulation. Now, there's a worldwide fast. It started on May the 7th, and it will end on Pentecost. This has never happened before. But it's happening now. Now, these other people, they don't have a clue what's happening. We do, because I'm teaching you every day what's about to happen. Now, they don't have a clue. But let me tell you something. Jesus ain't going to just snap his fingers and the Jews are going to wake up. Oh, there's Jesus. They're not. They have to go through the tribulation. So what these people are fasting and praying for is for the tribulation to start. And God's going to hear it. 21 days. And there's, there's people all over the world. I'm talking billions 
that's doing this fast that the tribulation starts. Now God's hearing this and they're fasting and they're praying. And this will bring on the tribulation with that many people. He will get, and it, it's not coincidence that it's now, because we already know it's about to happen anyway. But it's not coincidence that that's taking place now, and it started on May the 7th. Isaiah 62, that's what they're praying for. That is the beginning of the truth. Because see, the Jews will go through the tribulation, and that's what wakes them up. They wake up at the end of the tribulation, and people's like, well, there ain't no seven-year tribulation. Now, don't listen to these people. Some of them are just absolutely crazy, okay? They just make things up, and people just listen to them. Just like, you know, that's why I tell you, watch these false prophets. I mean, they're everywhere, you know, just like today, one blaming Jesus because they didn't get it right. It wasn't Jesus. They didn't hear from Jesus. And people will still follow them. And Jesus told us that would happen too. These people will follow these false prophets and they will not stop. They will keep feeding them and feeding them and feeding them. Let me tell you something. If anybody gets on here, screws up a prophecy, and then blames Jesus, you get away from them, you get off that channel, and you don't never go back. These people are not of God. I know you're desperate and you want to get out of here, and I'm just along with you, and I know. But... You got to have discernment. Got to be very careful in these days. Yes, we're leaving. We're getting out of here. With all these things that's happened, there's just now, right before I clicked this thing on, a 5.6 earthquake hit in Eureka, California, off the shore. People, it's happening. God's shaking the earth. All these things with Isaiah 62, uh, worldwide fast, all, all this stuff together. Please hear me. We are leaving, and it's any time, any time. But I'm telling you, all the signs, all this stuff with this AI, all this is lining up. I'm a watchman. It's what I do. I see these things, and I take them to the prophecies. I see that these things are unfolding. You know, I don't know a rapture date. I don't. God's never given me one. But I see the signs that he's taught us. And he said, when you see these things, you look up, because I'm coming. Now, we know it's happening. We don't know when, but let me tell you something. We're so close, I can almost smell it. We're that close. I mean, the earthquakes that we've just had this week, people, has been like nothing nobody's ever seen. Now, today, another disturbing thing with all this stuff with the Pentagon and the AI, they issue every senator a satellite phone because they're predicting a major major situation to take place where well, there's going to be no cell service in America. People, stuff's going on underneath you. And I've told you this, and I've warned you for six months. I've seen it happen. You're not going to know this thing until it smacks you right in the head. I'm, I'm telling you, it's going to sneak up on you, and you're not going to see it. It happens on a pretty day like what you're seeing right now. I'm telling you, you won't see it coming. And it's happening. It's unfolding right before my eyes. Just like God showed it to me. It's unfolding right in front of me. And I'm seeing it. Now you that are rapture ready, you have nothing to worry about. Like I told you, you don't fear. I just, I'm just letting you know we're getting out of here soon. If these things, they just keep on building. So just keep your eyes on that sky. It's very important. You know, go do your thing. Go to work. But just keep your eyes up there and be ready to go because in the blink of an eye, we're going to be turned. But this is an exciting time for us. We know we're leaving, and we are. Be careful who you're listening to right now. Like I said, there's, there's some people out there that, you know, they just, they're trying to hurt people. And I'm, Lord Jesus, help us with that. Try to keep these people off there, but there's not really nothing we can do except pray against them to keep them off here because they're going to use, you know, there's a lot of people out here that are sick and conflicted and they're just desperate for Jesus to come and they're following these people because they're giving them what they want. But see, that's what the devil does. He'll give you what you want, what you want to hear, and then turn it on you. I've warned you about that for three or four days. We've got to be very careful, very, very careful. But with all these events taking place, let me tell you something. This has never been a more exciting time than it is now. It never has. 
you know, how much more time we have here? Probably not much. But make sure you leave your prayer request in the bottom. We'll pray for them day and night. Because like I said, we are definitely down to the last minutes here up on this earth. And it's a good time. I'm telling you, I'm excited to leave. I'm excited to be with each and every one of you. I can't wait to meet every one of you, by the way. Thank you for being here. Love each and every one of you. I'm just so glad to, you know, I don't know you. But boy, I can't wait to be with you guys. I tell you, we got so much to look forward to. Thank you guys for being here on this channel. Like I'm telling you, I'm going to tell you hope. Because you've got hope. Don't let these people tell you you don't have no hope. And there's no light. And you're not. Jesus ain't coming to get you. Because I'm telling you, it's the word of God. He's coming to get you. And we're not going to go through these things. These people who teach this and they, they pry and they tell you these things. I want you to smile. And I want you to look at them and say, Jesus loves you. That's what I want you to do. I don't want you arguing with them. I want you to say, I love you. And Jesus loves you. And that's, I want you to, that's every time they do this to you. Because you've got hope. There is a rapture and it's coming for you. It's coming for the world. We are leaving people. We're going on a permanent vacation off this planet. Very soon. With everything that's happening. Especially with the cell phones and all this stuff. There's a lot of stuff happening underground that you're not aware of. Now, Jesus is. That's why the rapture happens. He knows what they're planning. He knows what they're doing. That's why the rapture happens. These other people who preach these other things, they don't have no clue what's going on underneath them. They don't have no clue. Satan's blinded them so completely that they'll never see it until it's too late. Don't be blinded. Be awake. As Mr. Scholar would say, be awake. Because right now is the time to be awake. More than ever, if I've ever told you that before in your life, hear me tonight. That this is the time that we've all prepared for. With all these signs happening, we've got to be awake and be ready to leave at a moment's notice. So what does that mean? It means you're okay, but try to tell two or three or four, maybe five, six more people than you normally do. Jesus loves them, and he is the only way. That's why I tell you to be awake, be aware, because you might be able to bring four or five people that never knew Jesus with us. That's why it's so important to be awake. It's not that you're going to lose your salvation or anything like that. That's, you're not. What you're, going to, what you're being awake and why you're on the ark is that you might be able to pull four or five people that would have went to hell, might not even made it through the tribulation. You might have gave them the peace that you know they needed. Or what they deserved in life. There's a lot of people out there that are good people. But they don't know Jesus. Like I said, it's not works, people. You can be good all your life and still not make it into heaven. It's about Jesus. The blood of Jesus Christ. It's not about works. It's not about any of that stuff. It's not about what you do. Jesus already did all the work. It's Him. But right now, with us being awake and everybody else being asleep, we can tell people, hey... You know the greatest thing in the world is Jesus. And if you, I'm telling you, if you open your heart to Him, your life will never be the same. You'll have the best friend you ever had. You'll have the greatest Father ever. You will be blessed beyond belief. And if you bring Him in, you're not going to ever let Him go. Trust me, there's nothing like Him. Ever. And if we can get maybe four or five more people than we, we had yesterday... And that's happening to people. People are getting saved in these comments. We're hearing people talk about it. People's family members that's never prayed are starting to pray. It's happening. It's called prayer. All you prayer warriors, you're doing your job. You're bringing light to the darkness. And trust me, we're surrounded by darkness. We cannot see anything. That's how dark it is right now. And with all these horrible events happening right underneath us, we have to be a light, not just for ourselves, but for everyone around the world. Right now is that time. Try to wake up as many as you can. You prayer warriors, you keep doing what you're doing. You keep chugging along, doing your job by praying for the lost 
every soul that rejects the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you something. If we're going to go out of here, let's try to take as many of us with us and smack Satan right upside his head. Because, yeah, he might be teaching the world that there's no rapture, but we know there are. We know we're leaving. We're going home. But let's try to take as many with us as possible. That's why I will come to you tonight to put that in front of you. How many can we snatch out of Satan's hands before we leave? That's the task that I've put up on you. That's what we need to do. That's what we got to keep in the back of our mind when we go to Walmart, we go to the gas station. Because let me tell you something, we're leaving and we know it. And don't worry about your pets. They're going too. They're coming right along with us. I promise you. Don't let anybody else tell you any different. So your pets are not going to be left there to starve when you get raptured. They're going right along with you. So let's try to hit Satan right in the mouth as hard as we can. We know we're leaving. Let's see how many we can take with us. That's our goal. You know, your soldiers, your watchmen, your watchwomen, you're brought here to get everybody awake and to bring Jesus into their life. And trust me, that's what we got to do. We got to tell everybody how great Jesus is in these last moments we have here. And possibly we can take a lot of them with us because we're leaving. Don't ever think we're not. You put a smile on that face. I want you to get up and I want you to start doing jumping jacks. Because let me tell you something, the Father's coming. With all these signs and all these things happening, it is taking place, people. I know you know it, and I know you feel it with everything that's happening. It's taking place. That's why this might be the, the, the most important video I've ever done. Because I think now we got to buckle down how many can we take with us when we go out of here before the, in the rapture. That's what we got to have in the back of our minds. Thank each and every one of you for being here. Thank you for all the work that you guys done, like the Stevens and Britton. So many of you that's in that prayer closet every night. You are the heroes. You're the ones making these things happen. This channel was created for you because Jesus said, you create that channel, I will bring them to. I will bring them here. They are his sheep. When you're listening to this, God brought you here because you're his sheep. I want you to think about that. Anytime you think, you know, Jesus don't hear me. I'm feeling kind of down today. He told me in the beginning, this channel, I will bring my sheep. They will hear the word. The ones who won't hear it are not my sheep. They will know I'm calling them home. So if you're here and you're believing in that, you are his sheep. He brought you here personally. Each and every one of you from every part of the world, he brought you here. Now, people, that's saying something. So don't ever wake up in the morning and say, well, you know, the Lord don't hear me. He brought you here because he wanted you awake. He wanted you knowing that you're ready to go home. I want you to think about that right now. Put a smile on your face. Yeah, I can feel that smile coming up on your face. You're special. Jesus brought you here for a reason. He wanted you to know you're going home. And your pets are going along with you, so quit worrying about it. Jesus is coming. Let's just see how many people we can tell around the world and how many we can take away from Satan in these last moments we're here. That's what we got to do. We got to be soldiers. We're in a battlefield. You are in this battlefield. I don't care if you can't leave your bedroom. If you're stuck up in the bed, you are not out of this war. You have your, you have your hands and your prayers you're fighting this battle along with everybody that's on their two feet. Prayer is like having a nuke in the back of your pocket. It's the most powerful thing in this universe. It's prayer. Don't you ever disregard how important it is. I don't care if you can't leave your hospital bed. You have prayer. You're a warrior. You're fighting a war in the last days. And trust me, Jesus knows each and every one of you and how important you are. That's why... He brought you here. Tell you good job. And he loves you. And he appreciates everything that you're doing in these last days. And I'm telling you. We're not far. So right now. Let's just. No fear. Let's just keep in the back of our mind. With all the events taking place. We know. 
where we are. We know the tribulation is going to start as soon as the rapture happens. So we're getting out of here. But now, how many can we take with us? You prayer warriors, you know what you got to do. That's why God brought you here. Lord Jesus, be with us in these last days with all the events that's taken place, Lord, these earthquakes, everything. We, You have got our attention, Father. We know what's coming, Father. And we have vowed to try to take as many with us as possible, to wake up as many. Please lighten their hearts of each one of these, and it's in the comments, these people that's praying for their children, their wives, their husbands, their family members, that you wake them up, Lord, that you give them dreams, visions, give them the light heart to be able to be someone to be able to talk to these people and let them know what's happening in this world. I need you, Father, in the Lord Jesus' name, to watch over us all in these last days, in these last moments, that we can make a difference, be a light in the darkness. I ask of you to protect these people, Lord, that come to this channel. I ask of you to watch over their families and put a shield around them and keep them protected in these last days. I ask of you to reach out for the, the watchmen and the watchwomen that every day, every night, they're on here letting everybody know Jesus is coming. I need, Lord, bless these people. But they put their name out there each and every day, and they take so much beatings and so much abuse from people. I ask of you, Lord, to protect them and their families so they can do their job. For all they want to do is let people know that Jesus loves them and that Jesus is coming for them. Thank you, Jesus, for everything you do. Protect all your people. Protect Israel, Lord Jesus. Let her come around after this tribulation where she'll wake up. We all know she does. And she will give, she will call you the Messiah that you have always wanted. Lord, I pray for each and every person, Lord. Every person that they don't believe that they're important in these last days. I'm telling you right now, you're more important than you ever knew. You're a light like no other. Jesus, be with these people. Let them know just how important they are. And I'm here to tell you, these people are so important with what we're doing here. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for another day, for blessing us and blessing this channel, blessing me with these wonderful people that come here from all over the world. In Jesus' name I pray, and amen. I love each and every one of you. Be awake. Be awake. Let's try to take as many as we can, and that's our goal from this point on, from this night. How many can we take with us? If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven.